Hello, I'm here today to discuss the physics of waves. What is a wave? Well, a wave could be thought of as a periodic disturbance characterized by a vibrating medium. So, for example, the sound waves that you're hearing right now, that's an example of a wave. It's a longitudinal wave, meaning the particles are moving along the length of the direction of propagation of energy. So from the speakers to your ear. Um, Light's a wave, so like the sunlight outside right now, that's coming from the sun, it's, it's traveling through space as an electromagnetic wave. Um, but it's hard to kind of think about that. Light's also can be thought of as a particle, so it's not the best example, but you know, light does have wave properties. Um, a wave on a string, so like on this jump rope, if I periodically disturb the jump rope, you can see that the particles oscillate. Now that's an example of a transverse wave because the particles are moving at right angles to the direction of propagation of energy. So the energy is propagating this way, but the particles are moving at right angles to it. That's a transverse wave. But that's kind of tough to see. Maybe you can kind of see a wave there. Um, what's another example? Oh, yeah, the water here in the pool. You can kind of see the waves generated when the uh, rope disturbed that. So, yeah, this might be a, uh, a good example of something where I could maybe disturb the particles of the water there, and then there you can kind of see waves, right? Yeah, I think that's the best example yet. Here we go. So if I periodically disturb the particles of the medium, we should be able to see the waves being generated. Now if I go faster, the frequency of the waves increases, or I could slow down and the frequency would be less. But we have to keep in mind that a wave is a periodic disturbance characterized by a vibrating medium. Here, I'm the disturbance and we can see the waves degenerated. This is by far the best example.